So just finished up another round of coaching calls and collaboration conversations with some business owners. I've got some really exciting news coming to all of you regarding the Accountant Success Formula online program, but I won't tell you about it yet. <laughs> but what I'm going to do talk about today is that one of the things that kept coming up over and over uh, again on the coaching calls was what is the number one most important metric in your accounting practice? So that's what I want to talk to you about today. It's like, what would it be? So would it be whip recovery? And if anybody's been watching me long enough, they would know. I would say no, it's not that. Would it be the amount of accounts receivable to your sales? Over your sales, divided by sales. Would it be that number? Nope, that's not the number either. Would it be the number of billable? You know where I'm going on this. You, you know it's going to be none of these, but... Anyways, is it how many billable hours you can get in the year? Is that the number one metric? No, it is not. There is one metric and one metric only that you should be hyper-focused on. When you get this one right, it will change everything in your accounting practice. It will give you the three freedoms that I talk about all the time. And what is that number? The number is your average price. Looks like average, looks like AUG. Average price per client. And that is it in a nutshell right there. That is the metric you want to be looking at. Okay. Literally changing one of the ones that we looked at today. I think we changed the average price per client by like some silly number, like 50 bucks, 50 bucks average. Okay. Increase their bottom line net income by a hundred K. $50 a month. And I'm talking about a subscription-based model. Like when I'm talking about average price per client. So 50 would be, of course, 600 a year. But we're talking about average price per client per month. It is insane what this does. Literally, if you haven't done this yet in your accounting practice, please do this. Figure out how many clients, at what price point gives you your revenue model. Because literally, all the clients take about the same, or the file takes about the same amount of time to do, okay? So don't worry about your, your costing model right away. Look at your revenue model. You take 100 clients, and I call it the dream 100. Take 100 clients times 1,000 bucks a month, gives you a $1.2 million billing model per year, plus change orders and cha uh, special projects, which I show how to do in the Accountant Success Formula, give you about a $1.5 million billing model. If you have $1.5 million in billings, how much do you need to really do? Like we're talking a hundred clients, hundred corporate clients. You don't need a lot of infrastructure for that. You should be taking home at least, even if you spend a ton of money on overhead, you should be at least $1.2 million, at least a million bucks, at least a million, like a third, eh, you wanna be taking home more. In the accountant success formula, we always strike for around 70 plus percent on the flow through. But anyways, what is the number one metric in your accounting firm? Is it work, uh, work? <laughs> Whip recovery. I almost giggle when I say that. Whip recovery. Is it your recovery on your whip? No, it's not. Is it your accounts receivable over yourself? No. Is it how many billable hours? No. The only thing that really matters is when you look at it at the end of it, what are you getting for the average price per client? If you can increase your average price per client, which is what we show you how to do in the accountant success formula, you can make so much more money, work less, and have clients who actually appreciate you. So there you go. And so that is the end of it. And it looks like Looks like our sun disappeared. It was gonna be a nicer day, but oh well, the clouds are good too. Anyways, think about it again. With your accounting practice, average price per client. What's the number one most important metric? Average price per client. Get that up, even by a small amount, changes the whole model for you. So there you go. So again, I am Eric Solback and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more stay tuned for more success tips to come.